got a little bit of Howard uh, starting the fire and look it's already burned down still burning a little bit and now we're gonna go over and uh, we, we what we did was pick up the firewood and that we cut the other day over there and we delivered it over to the where we rick the wood up put it in cords or rick or whatever so we did that now I parked the backhoe in a spot where Howard's gonna take a couple cedars out he gets to, I've got him over here and I'm gonna go uh, talk to him about how to run it I don't know if he's ever run a backhoe he's run big machinery before operated it not run it I guess operated it and uh, so we're gonna go through that and uh, there we go the Howard visit continues okay this is Howard working the backhoe I just uh, we're gonna try try to take two cedar trees out right there just some I was going to take out and uh, just let him mess with the the backhoe you know working on it takes a little while to get used to like I told him you really can't mess anything up I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna break anything. The only thing you can break is something you might hit, and that's why I have it over here for beginners. This is exactly what I did too. I never got close to anything important, you know, that I could damage until I got a little better at it. So Alright. Well while he's doing that, again I'm gonna come back and get more footage of that too for that that's fun I was just talking to him that that's just fun fun to work on something like that so what we did the other day we worked on splitting all this wood and I didn't get a video just finishing it all the wood that was here we split up and is now over there we did we did a great job did a great job getting all that split stacked um, sitting there so it'll start drying out now this is basically what we just brought over this morning from the burn area so we'll let you know whether we stack that today or or i do it later on because this is howard's last day and i'm glad it's going to be not raining uh we're able to get some stuff done i want to get some video of us going up and working on the dozer you know demolishing that which is kind of fun to use some air tools and you know, taking apart a big piece of the machinery that had a great lifetime. But uh, uh, now it's, I tried to sell it, no one wanted it. You know, you see those ads that say, um, we'll come get it, pay you for it and all that, and couldn't get anybody to do it. So we're gonna run it across the scale for iron and keep some of the pieces that we want, you know, that we're gonna be able to use later on and uh, get what we can, otherwise it's just gonna sit there rust away okay he's working look like he's working trying to get some smaller stuff moved out of the way so he can see what he's doing it's kind of weird you know when you're in there you you got a plan and you want to attack a certain area do something like that and then it doesn't work for you so you got to change your plan real quick your, your design so not a big deal not a big deal unless you're trying to do something really fine work, which we're not. All right, he's doing good. I heard some crunching. All right. Yeah, he's figuring out that backhoe arm is powerful to lift that tractor straight off the ground. Cool, he's doing good. Doing good. I'm gonna walk over and check on the fire real quick. You come with me. And then we'll come over and check on his progress. So he's already got some clearing right through there. I don't know if you can see it, but right in that area. Cleared out so he can now see that cedar that he's gonna take out and there's another bigger one to the left. So, here, I'll wait right here. All right, he's messing with it a little bit. 
There you go. He's going to figure out if he can push it over. Oh, he's going to dig. Okay. Yeah, we talked about different ways. He's going to dig out a little bit. Figure out how big a bike you can take without pulling the tractor, which he just did. So, doing good. Doing good. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. See you there. Yeah. Nice. See now. There you go. Look at that. Ah. I guess there's some barbed wire going through there. So. Or some fencing. Not a big deal. It is what it is. Get those trees out of the way. All right, I'm gonna go over and check on the, the fire pit, make sure everything's cool. And one of the regulations you have, and I think I've described it here in Oklahoma, is you have a you have burn days. Not like it is in California where you can't use your fireplace, you know, in your house, or a, a fire pit, you know, like this. You can use those pretty much all the time. Well, you know, obviously you got to stay around them I and mean, campfire stuff like that. Lakes have their regulations, but. This is what I'm talking about, and I've described it before. You got these big old pits where you just need to burn brush, you know, because it just gets overwhelming and uh, pile up on you. And if you don't have a chipper, then you got to get rid of it somehow. Otherwise, it just accumulates snakes and critters and stuff like that. But anyway, and it just it's good, you know. I'm, I'm creating this ash, and uh, so see, it's still it's still burning. It was been wet, really wet, so. I was really glad that this thing started up this morning and still burning and we'll see. Maybe hopefully it'll catch those stumps and the stumps will simmer and burn themselves down uh, by tonight. So good deal. I, I, I was, I'm pleased with that. Sometimes I try to start those things and zero success. Today success. So what a beautiful day it is. I hear the wind's blowing so I know sometimes you can't hear me. But I don't have one of those fancy microphones and all that stuff yet and fancy cameras. So I'm just doing this um, on a regular Kodak camera. I love it. It's a great camera. Got to buy a bigger memory, memory card for it and all that good stuff. Because I run out sometimes. But back to Howard. Here we go. Looking good. All right, looks like that tree's moving, that little, that little cedar. Ah, uh, I think. Yeah, it's all right. I think, like I said, I think there's some fencing in there that we didn't account for, but no big deal. dries out, I'm gonna have to get out here and do some brush hogging. Got how tall this is getting. Wasn't able to get to it last time. I just used a little mower. There comes a little tree. Got it. Now I think you should be able to lift it. With there it comes. Sweet. That's exactly what we were talked about doing. He was able to do it. Sweet. Just like I do sometimes that extend a hoe, I forget to pull it back in to give me more movement this way and stuff. But that's just one of the things it takes a while to get used to. Nice, you got that tree out of the way. That's what I wanted. And there's one more over there we talked about getting. Looks like it looks like he's doing a good job with that. Good deal. You know, though, we wanted to do a whole bunch of other things, but his visit came during the big rains. Uh, you, you won't see this until later on YouTube. Uh, 
but it rained hard and that's when the flooding was happening in northeastern Oklahoma tornadoes that hit out at El Reno um, that's kind of when the, his visit happened so I couldn't take him to the area where I cut down trees for the, the, the lumber on my property because I mean, if you look right here this is just solid mud this is one of the roads I, I built that I take back to the back part of the property um, you know to get lumber and you've seen it or you will see it if you haven't already uh, when I go back cut down trees then I drag them up here to the burn pit area size them up put them on the, the sawmill but you can just see it's just still just freaking just soaked so believe it or not that that, that backhoe it will can get stuck you know if it's bogged down your big area you're not getting it out till it dries so I don't I don't want to take a chance on any of that so that is what it is you know just uh, try to take care of the equipment and not put it in a bad spot and uh, you know that way you can still do some work up here with it if it's, so it's not stuck back there in a ditch so like today you know able to do this you know, able to work the fire pit a little bit with the backhoe, make sure the wood's down in there good before we started it this morning. And, and you know, getting these trees out here, which these trees, I'll put them in this, this fire pit here, or I might hook onto them, drag them over to that one today. I think that's what I may do. That way, I'm, I want to end up by the end of this summer leveling that fire pit out, putting dirt on it and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, and turn this, this, take a pause here until he gets ready to take out that other tree and then I'll get, get some uh, footage of that. Okay. So he's digging the dirt out a little bit, preparing it before he starts to try to dig that tree out, which is good. What you want to do in most cases. Tricky. He's got a tree behind it that he's trying to maneuver. A little tricky. That's all right. There we go. Nice. that time. There we go. Good, good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All that Christmas tree. Cedar pollen. There he goes. He's moving it over to the left. 
We talked about doing that too. Perfect. There you go. You did good. There he goes. He's pulling the extender hoe in. Trying to get everything set back to normal, it looks like. Because he's got the trees out. There go, trying, to, trying to move it over, good. <laughs> That's what you gotta do, is just keep playing with it. Find out your comfort zones and what you're wanting to do and it'll do it. That backhoe will do it. Talk to I me, my man. What do you think? That's a toy. It's Good. awesome. So you can just go That's stay on that thing great. all day long, huh? All day. All day. Just playing with it. You're going to lose track of time. It. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Amazing. You'd be well, down just doing stuff. Need to go get my grade. Huh? See how I did. Oh, you did. This is awesome. You, we them. talked about putting that tree over here, and you did it. We talked about putting that tree over there, and you did it. There's some wire in there that I didn't yeah, account I for. Yeah. So that I'm not a big deal. So open that up yeah, open right. that up, and then... We'll end up, like I was saying, I'm probably going to take, um, I'll, I'll get in there and pick the tree up, take it over to that burn pit, put it in there now, and then it may catch and burn today. Oh, wow. So we'll we'll put those two in there and uh, Alrighty. get them all burned up, but that was success. My biggest challenge is I learned real quickly, if you hold it and let off real quick, you get that big shake in. If you're going fast and you let off slowly, it'll slow down slower. Mm -hmm. So Especially that was a big learning yeah. Curve for me about shaking and, every time. I and it's something. even more violent if you're doing it with the extender hoe out. Yeah. That's when yeah. it really, yeah, the, the extender hoe when it's way out. Right. If you pull that in, it's a little tighter. The other thing I felt like I could have learned or work on is how to shake the mud out of the bucket. Yeah. I noticed you did it. I didn't figure out that technique. Yeah. So it takes did the time. Best I could. You did awesome today. This being on there your first time. That's really you know things I was talking about. You're here later on the camera. It's like. You just got to play with it. You yeah. got to play with it. Have you know, keep messing. You're going to try something that's not going to work for you, and then you're going to try something that works, and you just keep doing that. You know, and people will tell you, "Oh, you need to do this." Well, whatever you do, what you do to get your job done, and you're not going to hurt it. So you just do what you do. There may be better ways, more efficient ways, but usually you find out what works for you and you stick with it anyway. And as long as it's not hurting the machinery or anything else, you're in great shape. Yeah, and you I like think that toy. I do, and I think. That toy be dangerous if you put yourself under a time pressure. Yes. I think I think you could get stuck pretty easy doing things and knocking stuff around. So just slow and steady. Yep. You take your time, do whatever little job you're wanting to do, and get it done. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it. I'm uh, I'm going to drag these over to the burn pit and put them in there, and hopefully it'll catch today. I think it will. So. That's the plan. What do you think? Awesome. Okay. I think it's great. Another D squared day. D squared day. What do you What do you make sure you do when you're a spectator around that? Oh, you stay completely out of the entire area till you make direct eye contact with the operator. You got to make eye contact. People get injured when they're trying to run up to a machine and the operator they don't see you, and they're they still working. You. Yeah, they can't hear you. Um, and you know we got a cab with an air conditioner and a radio in that one but even on the ones that are outside it's so loud without if you don't have a cab it's still so loud you can't hear people walking up on you well and, and people get injured yeah my concentration was so on just what was if i wouldn't have known anything going on behind exactly me. you yeah. could have tapped me in the shoulder i had to jump i mean it, i was really concentrated yeah which is what you have to do because yeah. the most dangerous part is the immediate area where the bucket is but then secondary is where it might come 
So your immediate danger is right where the bucket is, and I could have went up here trying to get his attention. He could have swung the bucket around, that and I'm, I'm hit before you know it. And he wouldn't even see it because he's not focusing on that because the rules are stay away from the machine. Okay, so we're going to uh, take a break. I'm going to take that stuff over there and put it in the burn pit, and then we're maybe going to go. We'll see. We're maybe we'll run up and uh, start working on tearing that dozer apart. If not, we're going to stay here and watch that burn pit a little bit, and maybe after lunch get up there and work a couple hours on that. Okay, be right back. Good stuff, good stuff. Danny's back on the tractor after I felled those two cedars and he's gonna grab them and take them over to the burn pit.
trying to perfect stuff. And... Yep. All right, you're going to be the driver. You ready for this? Just need the keys. Let's get in there. Got my license and insurance. Yep, you're in first. Hop up in there. I'm going to ride with you, but go ahead and sit down. Straighten out the chair. Everything's good. Um, the key's over there on the right-hand side. Just turn it like normal. It should start right up. Yeah? All right. Now we're driving. There he is. <laughs> nice. What did you think of driving it? Oh, it was wonderful. Yeah. It's too bad it's muddy, so you could, you could yeah. do a lot more if it wasn't muddy. I like that air seat. Hey, do this. Hey, you like what? See, I like the air seat. Yeah. yeah. It's comfortable. I agree. And you're not going to go anywhere in a hurry, so you just relax and drive. Yeah. It does have, you know, three or four other gears where you can put it on the road if you need to transport it and get it out mm -hmm. for your own traffic and stuff. So, all right.